Hi, and welcome to Rosie STEM. I'm Amanda, and today we're going to be talking about statistical inference. I took a lot of statistics classes in both high school and college. I was a undergraduate major in math with my concentration in statistics. And one of the things that I've noticed both through my own classes and through working with students is that statistics courses don't always start with the motivation for what statistics is or why we're doing what we're doing. Uh, so I wanted to go over some of that in this video, give you the motivation for statistics what a statistic actually is, what does that term mean, and give you the idea behind statistical inference and why we do some of the tests that we do in statistics. So let's get started. So statistical inference is all about thinking about a population. So what is a population? A population is a group that you're interested in studying. So that might be a specific group of people, like maybe you want to understand how undergraduate art students learn. It might be a more general group of people, like you want to understand something about the entire United States, or it couldn't be people at all. Maybe you're a researcher in a lab, and you're working with mice and you want to understand how well this drug works in mice. All of those things are populations that you want to know something about. When you want to know something about a population, the best way to go about figuring it out is to look at every single member of a population. That's called a census. Um, so the United States does the census every 10 years. We just had um, a census in 2020. It's called a census because they go through and they try to talk to everyone or every household in the U.S. to get an understanding of the entire U.S. population. Oftentimes, though, it's difficult to do a census on the population of interest that you have. Even the U.S. census, it's very difficult for them to get 100% of people responding. Um, think about how hard it would be if you were doing a study of all teenagers in Illinois and you wanted to understand what teenagers think about climate change, you would have to find every single teenager in Illinois and get them to respond to your survey or your interview or whatever it is that you're doing. Uh, oftentimes that's difficult or even impossible. It can be expensive. Um, so statistical inference is about what happens when you can't do a census to figure out what you want to learn. In those cases, we usually just get a sample of that population. So that sample is just a subset of that broader population you want to learn about. In this case, we're looking at the orange group when our population is the entire white group on the slide. So this is our sample. And when we use a sample, we're usually trying to calculate something about our sample because we want to know something about a population. So we usually take our sample, we do some sort of math, and we come up with a statistic. So that's what a statistic is. A statistic is a numerical characteristic of a sample. That might be the average or the mean. It might be something more complicated. Maybe you're looking at percent change. Maybe you're looking at number of people who agree with a statement. All of those things are statistics. Any numerical characteristic of a sample is a statistic. So in statistics class, when you start by learning mean, median, and mode, those are all statistics that you're learning. And you end up learning more complicated statistics and you end up learning things about those statistics that are special or interesting or allow you to do other things. But usually you don't start out learning that those are statistics or why you would care about those things. So. Oftentimes, what you really want to know is not necessarily the statistic, but you want to know something about the broader population, right? You want to know what's going on in all of the U.S., but all you have is that sample. So the numerical characteristic of the population that you're interested in is called a parameter. So what we really want to know is the parameter, and what we have is a statistic. 
Now, the process of understanding a parameter based on a statistic is called statistical inference. You're inferring something about your population parameter based on the statistic that you have. Now, sometimes it gets a little bit confusing whether a statistic goes with a sample or with a population. You can remember this by looking at the first letter. So a statistic is with a sample, both S's, and a parameter is with the population, both P's. So what I have up here on this slide is a couple of Greek letters that might look a bit foreign to you, or maybe you've taken statistics before, so you see what these are and you understand. Um, but these are both thetas. Now, usually mathematicians use theta to represent the parameter that they're interested in learning. Someone a long time ago decided they like theta and that's what we use, it's a standard. It just stands for that numerical characteristic, that thing we want to learn about. So that is the theta on the right-hand side under the parameter. It represents our parameter of interest. Theta on the left-hand side, you might notice looks a little bit different. So this one, has something on top of it that we call a hat. So we usually call this theta hat. Um, someone decided that that little carrot looks like it's wearing a hat on its head, so we call it theta hat. Our theta hat is an estimate. Usually anything that we put a little hat over is an estimate of something. So what we're showing here is that our statistic is an estimate of that true population parameter theta that we're interested in. The process of statistical inference is the process of understanding how much we can glean from a statistic and how we can generalize that to the broader population, that parameter we want to know about. So this only works, right, if what we're looking at is generalizable. Can we generalize from our sample to our population? And there are some times where what we're doing is not necessarily generalizable. So imagine we have a whole population like we've been looking at before, but our sample consists only of females, right? We only look at females. Now, in this case, it wouldn't necessarily be a very representative sample. It's not representative of the whole population we want to look at because there's probably some difference between females and males. Now, that depends on what we're looking at, but imagine we're looking at something like um, response to a medical treatment or opinions on something, um, agreement with a statement. Now, our sample might not be representative of the full population because we're only looking at a specific subset, but it's not a generalizable subset. It wasn't chosen randomly from our population. It was chosen with something in mind. So whatever difference might be due to the fact that we're only looking at females, we're not getting an accurate picture of the entire population. Now, there are lots of ways of making sure you can get a representative sample. There's sampling techniques or sampling schemes that people use to try to get such a representative sample so that we can generalize from a sample to a population. I'm not going to get into all of those in this video, but I do have a blog post, which I will link down below, um, that you can read if you want more information about that. And if you want me to make a separate video about sampling techniques, um, tell me in the comments and I can do that as well. So what we've covered so far is we've talked about what a statistic is, that it's a numerical characteristic of a sample. We've talked about the point of statistics, which is that we want to know something about a population, but we can't measure everyone in that population. So we have a sample and we have to figure out how to get from our statistic to a better understanding of our parameter. Statistical inference is how we do that. And if you think about your traditional statistics class, you talk about how do we calculate these statistics? Are they biased? So if we increase the number of people we're looking at, is it going to, in eventuality, reach a certain number or a certain point? You talk about um, degrees of uncertainty around a statistic, maybe a confidence interval. How sure are we that our actual parameter is going to lie in this interval? You're all talking about how do we make inferences between what we're seeing and what we think is truly going on in the real population. And that is all of what statistics is about. So 
Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for tuning into the channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Also, like the video. It really helps out with my channel. And I will see you next time. Thanks.